Hey there, Chad with Project's Customer Success Team here. In this video, we're going to discuss how to add change orders for an additional scope of work within Prodigal. You can add a change order in two different places, either from the projects page where maybe a project manager with the appropriate permissions could do it, or from the lead pipeline uh, where any estimator with the appropriate permissions or any administrator could add those um, change orders into the system. If we were to do it from the projects page, we would simply click on the projects tab on the left hand side, and right here where it says estimate approved on a such and such date, this would uh, indicate when the estimate was signed by the customer. If we click on that, it would open up the original estimate for this project. Additionally, from the nine squares in the top right hand side of any project card, you can see the quick options, which would allow you to see and edit the estimate. It does the same thing as clicking right here. Additionally, we could go to the lead pipeline. From the sold status, this is where we see all active jobs. It's really nice and easy for us to be able to see exactly what's going on here. Now, in this case, we have this um, customer approved project. We can go ahead and click on this and we can uh, scroll down here to see there's a tile and grout service for a master bathroom shower service. If we wanted to add a change order, we could actually come right down here and add a change order to this scope of work. And then we as well in the system already have a estimate section template specifically for a hall bathroom shower service. So let's go ahead and click on that and we'll go ahead and do the hall bath shower service estimate section template. If we open this up, we could go ahead and view it we'll see it's a complete shower service. It's pretty much our standard language here. And by standard, we usually expect it to take about seven hours of labor with our standard markup. Um, from here, if we wanted to add any additional contract details or a description of it being a specific change order, we could do that. Uh, we could as well open up the customer preview here. And by clicking on this, this will open up the link just as if it would be for the customer and it says hall bath shower service. Here's a complete shower service with the description and the cost. And it actually says, here's the subtotal for this change order, the tax associated with it, the previous estimate total, and then the current estimate total. But the nice thing about change orders within Prodigal is it really keeps the main thing the main thing. It allows you to see exactly what this change order is approving and it just tells you the previous total and then you now have the additional total here. So the customer would simply get this link, accept and sign the estimate and uh, you know go ahead and put their signature on there and you would be notified as the estimator that they've approved that now let's say we go ahead and head down here we send the change order just simply send a customer for approval once we've done that we could mark the change order sent and lock the change order once we do that here we'll go ahead and hit lock estimate and we know now that we're waiting for customer approval on this change order and it was locked by chris traeger on today's date and right here, you can as well see where we're awaiting approval. So that's adding change orders within Prodigal. Thanks for watching.